Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions and we're back with another trailer reaction. This one for Halloween Kills. We just did The Many Saints of Newark. Looked really good. It's the prequel movie to The Sopranos where James Gandolfini's son is playing him as Tony Soprano. I'm jumping into this one. We're doing two more after this. This is the sequel to the Halloween we just saw a couple years ago. I think it was delayed because of quarantine. I'm sure it was. Every movie in the world has been. I feel like it's been too long since the last one came out, so it's had to have been delayed. I feel like we saw it three years ago, maybe, maybe less. All I know is I remember at the end of the last one, he was burned in the bottom of a house that was Jamie Lee Curtis's, I think plan to put him there i saw the trailer reaction that somehow he is alive he got out he got out you know how he does it i don't know we're gonna find out but i don't care because it's one of those kind of movies where i'm not gonna be like oh wait a second this guy should be dead these are like jason freddy type guys who there's no explanation needed i just want to see cool deaths and interesting entertaining stories so let's just watch you guys want to see more trailer reactions coming up on the channel today is a bunch check the patreon link at the end for full unedited reactions all the shows on the channel if not here we go guys this is official trailer reaction for halloween kills there's the burning house Oh, is that what happens? Oh, okay. So the firefighters rescued him? Does he fight the firefighters? I, My grandmother I was right. The boogeyman was real. It's over. We can't hurt anyone ever again. No he just told like you. told me what? Somebody in there? Michael Myers is alive. <laughs> Way to show all the death scenes. They just showed like three death scenes. Should not have to keep running. Evil dies tonight. I'm not just gonna sit and watch another innocent person die. If you track Michael's victims, that's a straight line to Michael's childhood home. What do we do? We fight. Hey. Let's hunt him down. Anthony Michael Hall. Michael Myers is flesh and blood. But a man couldn't have survived that fire. The more he kills, the more he transcends. Run! Go home now! He's the essence of evil. So are they basically trying to say he's supernatural now? You want your mask? Come and get it! I'm coming for you, Michael. It looks interesting. I don't know anymore with these movies. Halloween has so many. I think the only one to possibly rival Friday the 13th. I know there's way more Friday the 13th than Nightmare on Elm Streets. I honestly can't remember how many Halloweens there are because they've already rebooted it several times. They have the Rob Zombie edition, they have the one before this, and the original. So there's three versions right there. I know there's five or six, maybe seven in the original, and then Rob Zombie made two or three. I've never seen the Rob Zombie ones, honestly, so I can't really give my honest opinion. 
but there's got to be close to a dozen. I know there are a dozen Friday the 13th films because I always talk about how it's my favorite franchise and the next one will be the 13th film. It's been this ongoing thing how the next Friday the 13th will be the 13th film and of course they got to have a 13th Friday the 13th. If you're at 12, you got to do the 13th. If you're at like seven or eight, I understand if you can't do it, but you can't stop and you know they're going to make another one and they've been planning it forever and it's been switched so many times. But I feel like there's probably just as many Halloweens at this point. And I don't know, they get somewhat all over the place. I mean, most of them do. But in the last one, they were pitching it as the movie that Jamie Lee Curtis would return in to finally kill off Michael Myers. And then in the end, they burn the house down. And I guess at this point, they're saying, we understand it doesn't make sense anymore. And Jamie Lee Curtis in this trailer literally said he's transcending what is normal. He is become some kind of supernatural being. I guess they're admitting like, okay, we get it. He can't be like living forever unless something's up. We're just going to acknowledge it. We have to make our people smart. In the 80s and the 90s, you could get away with people just constantly thinking like, Jason was alive or dead or whatever, and it was no big deal. But now you have to treat your audiences like with more intelligence, I guess, or people aren't going to go see the movies. It's just there's so many options out there now. It isn't like back in the day where people just like grabbed whatever they could content wise and was like, oh my God, this was at my video store. There's a thousand things on TV all the time. So you got to like treat your audience with some form of intelligence at some point. So I guess they're acknowledging, yes, this is crazy, but now he's evil incarnate and we're going to find out where this goes. I'm obviously going to see it. I don't think it looks that crazy good, but I'm still going to watch it. It looks all right. It looks good enough. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited reactions, all the shows I do on the channel, Patreon link in front of me. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.